unaweza 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 bwana unaweza unaweza bwana unaweza 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 bwana unaweza unaweza bwana unaweza 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 bwana unaweza unaweza bwana unaweza 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 bwana unaweza unaweza bwana wainua 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 bwana wainua wainua bwana wainua 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 bwana wainua wainua bwana wala unaponya 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 bwana unaponya unaponya bwana powerful 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 amen. amen and it's still god is able bwana mm. wetu bado anaweza hallelujah welcome back to our show worship mm. unveiled our topic today is capacity building yes. and before we went to that short break mm. uh, we were talking about capacity building of a worship leader mm. you now uh, Time is really moving, eh? Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I think we need a whole day to discuss this, but yes. the, the, the Lord will help us. Amen. Now, we want to, to dwell on the rehearsals and practice. Okay. How, how does this worship leader, mm. during rehearsals, eh? yes, yes. help himself to build the capacity mm. and also help the team mm. to build the capacity? Mm. Now, building capacity in this regard, eh, yes, yes. that uh, this team is able to lead the congregation mm. in worship. Mm. And maybe it's, it's not bad to, to bring guest worship ministers, eh, mm. Mm. such that even the pastor yes. or the bishop of that house mm. will not feel inadequate when maybe he wants to hold a bigger meeting eh? yes, yes so how does this worship leader help himself as mm. an individual mm. and also the team to build capacity to to take that congregation to where maybe the expectation of the father of that house mm. is okay yes uh, just to start from somewhere before we get there yes one thing that uh, we need to understand as singers in our churches mm -hmm. we are not singers actually we are not singers. <laughs> we are ministers of the yes, gospel. Yes, yes. Very important. We are Maybe ministers you, of will, the gospel. you will differentiate for us yes. between singers and, and ministers. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Because, um, you know, anybody can sing. Yes. And I can tell my brother, everybody sings. Yeah, they we do sing. We sing in our showers. Uh -huh. When you're washing your utensils. Uh -huh. Even when you're walking on the road, we are singing. Yes. yes. <laughs> but we that the Lord, number 16, verse 9 says that it is not a small thing. That the Lord has picked us from the congregation mm -hmm. and has blessed us to sing before his people. Yes. Okay? 
So we need to understand that we are not singers. We are ministers. We are ministers of the gospel, ministering through singing. So once this one is understood very well, mm -hmm. then uh, the, 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 the leader of the team mm -hmm. will, number one, carry himself or herself as a minister, not as a singer. That's the leader now? Yes, yes. as a minister first. Mm -hmm. Actually, the, your pastor has placed you in that team as another priest over that small congregation yes. called your team. Mm -hmm. And so you must play a role of a priest to those people. Because it is a, a high level of trust for your pastor to appoint you, to lead a team. And so you are there to help this congregation, this small congregation, this your team. Number one also, or another thing, to understand the vision of the pastor. That's for another day. Mm -hmm. So it is a huge task. Mm -hmm. And so as a team leader, you have to carry yourself as a minister. And you have to ask yourself, how does a minister behave? Yes. How does a minister do his things? Mm -hmm. how, how do your pastor behave? That, mm -hmm. will, that will help you as, as a minister, as a leader. How does your pastor behave? A leader of a team, for you to build capacity very well, mm -hmm. your prayer life must be beyond mm -hmm. the team that you are leading. Yes, yes. You must always be above the team. Yes. Above the team. Mm -hmm. It is disappointing when you are leading people who are spiritually higher than you. Than you. Yes. Because a time will come when they will be able to be doing things higher than you. Then for you, you instead of you taking it in a positive way, you will think that now these people are competing. Yes. Or they want to overpower you. They want to unseat you. <laughs> but if you build yourself that you're always on top, you'll be able to capture signals in the team. Yes, yes. In fact, even you'll be able to know whom to assign. Mm -hmm. You will not only measure on the gift, because that's what we do. We measure on the gift, on the prowess, on the skills, which is also good. It's good. I believe in skills, I believe in, 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 you know, in, in excellence, mm -hmm. singing well, skills and all those, those kind of things. Yes, yes. But as a minister, you build yourself spiritually. Leader, build yourself spiritually. Prayer life must be on top notch. Yes. Your word study level must be on top notch. Word study. Yes. Mm -hmm. Must be on top notch. Yes. Be able to capture signals. Mm -hmm. It is not right mm -hmm. for your pastor to be sharing things on the altar and to you as a leader of the yes. team, mm -hmm. you know, you are getting nothing. Mm -hmm. You're getting nothing. You should be able to capture everything when your pastor is saying. So now, no wonder this is happening in the church. Yes. No wonder pastor has been repeating this thing. Yes. So you are communicating to the team what the Lord is saying through your pastor. Yes, yes. But now if you, if you have a, a leader who mm -hmm. is dry, who is carnal, I tell you, even the pastor, the appointing authority, yes. will never be satisfied. And that is why most time you realize that your pastor before they preach, they sing. It's not all of them who sing because they love singing. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because is this, some of them is because during singing, you uh -huh. are just presenting. You know, you are just there. These are singers. They are performing. Where that is very strong. <laughs> eh? And now because your pastor will not pull you from the altar, mm -hmm. It just allows you, and a familiar. Mm. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah. We say the present worship is between 9 to 9.30 or 9 yes, to 10. Yes. Let's wait until 10. Yeah. After 10 a.m., someone comes on the altar and picks the microphone. Just yes. to follow the program. We should go beyond the program. Mm -hmm. And in present worship session, a lot of things happen. Me, I will tell you, there is nothing that happens in the service that is more powerful than present worship session. There is nothing as powerful as that. But until the leader of the team understand this thing, mm -hmm. will we'll forever remain to be singers who are just there to, you know, to fill the program. Mm -hmm. After the service, ah, it was wonderful. It ah, was wonderful. it was powerful. Ah, sick are coming in, sick and going back the same. That's very important. Eh? <laughs> because you see, in praise and worship, yes. we are ministering to God. Exactly. And during the word, it's opposite. God mm -hmm. is ministering to us. Exactly. So yes. until people understand that during this worship, session yes we are ministering to god we are touching him yes and you find some people will take okay every session in the service should be taken seriously exactly mm. but there are people who will say I, I i just want to hear the word mm -hmm. 
uh, okay, should, should we say that person is selfish? He wants to be ministered to. He doesn't want to minister to him. Thank God, <laughs> whoever the person who said so, yes. did not tell us that he wants to hear God Very during good. preaching session. Yes, yes. He said, I want to hear God. I want to hear God. <laughs> and I would talk to every believer there. When you attend the service, mm -hmm. please let your heart be open. Mm -hmm. You can hear God even during Sunday school presentation. That's very true. You can hear God during testimony session. You can hear God during intercessory mm -hmm. session. You can hear God through in, during praise and worship session. Be open. Not only doing yes. the word. Don't cage God. Yes, yes. The God we are serving is unlimited. Yes, yes. <laughs> he can minister through any, 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 anyone okay. and through any session. Yes. That's very powerful. Yes. Now, I want to take you back. You mm -hmm. said prayer life. Exactly. Of the worship leader. Uh -huh. Uh, studying of the word. Exactly. You also said understanding the vision of your pastor. Of your pastor. Exactly. Capacity building of a worship leader. Exactly. Let's continue from there. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now, after the leader, you've understood that what you're doing is a ministry. Mm -hmm. You will take the same to the members. Okay. Because to the team now. To the team. Okay. The team that you're leading mm -hmm. will always do what you're doing. Okay. And they will never do beyond what you're doing. Okay. And that is why if as a leader you are not at par with your pastor, mm -hmm. you're not capturing the signals. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine the level where the mem your members will be at? The reason why we have a lot of gossip, friction in the team, competition in the team, mm -hmm. who is better than who, yes. is because these are, these, are, these are celebrities who have gathered mm -hmm. preparing for a, a presentation on Sunday. <laughs> but if you're going to gather as ministers, they are led by a priest. Yes. <laughs> Everybody has come to hear God. Ready to hear God. What is God saying concerning our service tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Then the leader has captured that. Mm -hmm. And he has le he's leading people who have already also captured something. Mm -hmm. So once we get that now, yes. we are now coming to the practice session. Yes, yes. So how does our practice session run? Because my brother will tell you, most of the practice sessions we have in our church is not practice sessions. Okay. Because actually our practice session, I, I, I would suggest we call it a pre-service preparation <laughs> meeting. That's what they are supposed to be called? Yes. Okay. Pre-service. Pre-service. Yes. Not rehearsals and not practice. No, it okay. is pre-service. Okay. Because in this session, it should be a whole, some kind of a gathering where we have prayer. We have word session. We have worship session. We have personal prayer session. Mm -hmm. Before we come to music. Mm -hmm. Now, if, 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 if we dub it a pre-service pre preparation. Yes. How are we going to help the, that individual in that team? Eh, uh -huh. Who maybe wants to learn the vocals? Uh -huh. Who maybe wants, maybe last Sunday he went off key? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. So if we did that. Yes. Where do, do we feature uh, or where do we help those individuals to become better? Uh -huh. Yes. Now, organize yourself. Mm -hmm. Everything works in planning. Yes. If maybe you have a practice, maybe, on a, maybe you have two days yes. of the week, mm -hmm. and maybe you have another Sunday early morning, mm -hmm. you can say, for example, when we meet on Tuesday, we meet on Tuesday, number one agenda of Tuesday yes. is to, to do a whatever. What did you do on Sunday? We mm. do a recap. Yes, a recap of how we did, yes. eh? how we ministered. Exactly. Yes. How was sound? Do a wholesome recap. Mm -hmm. How was sound? Yes. How were the backups? Mm -hmm. What about the soloist? Mm -hmm. What about the, the songs from one song to another? Was there off key, off beat, all that? After now understanding that, then we will now go to, to do a repair. Okay. No, we, we, we try to polish the mistakes mm -hmm. of our last service. Yes, yes, yes. That is how we are going to grow. Mm -hmm. But this one will come later because now we come now in this the same same session. Yes. We have gathered now. Everybody must have their own personal time to pray. Mm -hmm. As an individual now. Yes. Mm -hmm. You come to the session. Mm. Stop greeting people anyhow. It is okay to greet. Yes. But you have come. For example, if we are meeting at five sharp. Yes. If you have come at four fifty, you can greet each other. Mm -hmm. But surely, we are, our session begins at five. You have come at five. There is no time to greet people. Or five ten. Or five ten. And you want Honestly. to high five everybody. You want to high five everyone. <laughs> you want to you want to hug everybody. You want yeah. to tell us how how things are. Everything. Mm. No. You come at that particular time. Have your own personal time. Pray. Mm -hmm. 
after that you pray together as a team mm -hmm. hold hands pray together as a team then now have a sitting yes one of you will share the word of god just five minutes yes share the word of god then people will just share their issues in case or how was the service on sunday what did you capture mm -hmm. because like you don't have a team where nobody is capturing anything in the service be sure as a leader that these people indeed they were in the service mm -hmm. the topic was about faith mm -hmm. what did you capture number one this is what i got number two this is what i got and this is what i learned then now go to do a recap of the service mm -hmm. how was our service on sunday yes this is the mistake this is the mistake this is what we did well hey, wonderful we thank god now you begin number one now after doing all the spiritual aspects let's go mm -hmm. to correct the errors yes okay <laughs> so you are saying eh, yes. we should be positive first exactly. because uh, some of the team members when you are doing recap they will dwell so much on the mistakes yeah which is not right <laughs> it's not right uh, you say our keyboardist went off oh, a little uh, mess sunday uh, you know yes okay first appreciate him you Appre did so well exactly but i think you there is somewhere you need to improve yes because uh, if we dwell so much on the negative we will we will not grow to takwaruzan it's true yes it's true uh -huh. Go on. just come and uh, you know and that's why i encourage sometimes record yourselves Mm -hmm. during the service okay. you can do an audio record or mm -hmm. video mostly video is good because you will learn a lot of things how you how you organize yourself on the altar yes your posture and the rest so come and say ah kibudis thank you so much that was wonderful drama you did very well guitarist ah, that was good solo is that was wonderful back up then now go to the mistakes okay and when you're correcting when you're pointing at the mistakes be mm -hmm. positive mm -hmm. we are and not love. yes we are not pointing at the mistakes to break one another yes, yes we are pointing at the mistakes to ensure that after this session we are going out better people than we came yes yes better singers than we mm -hmm. came so there you iron one after the other and every member must have a positive attitude when your mistakes have been pointed out, it is not with, a, with, with, with an aim to break you, yes. but to build you up. To make you better. To make you better. So if your mistakes has, have been pointed out, be humble enough, mm -hmm. be patient. Mm -hmm. Then now after being point, your mistakes being pointed out, we will take you through the same thing. For example, if maybe you had a problem of doing a song after the other. Yes. You, maybe you are going off beat and off key now. We will repeat the same thing. Yes. During the do, service. Do, do the same thing. Yes. Okay. Sister A, brother X, mm -hmm. now we are going through praise session for five minutes. Mm -hmm do the same thing you did on sunday can we start go to brother x yes and actually the first practice session of the week mm -hmm. you should dwell on the learners more that's the worship leader now yes yeah. worship leader you are gathering on tuesday for example whichever first practice of the week you have mm. dwell on the learners none of them has come to joyride mm -hmm. none of them has come to escort other people yes we are all of us we are ministers i may not be doing it well right now but I have an ambition, mm. I have a goal, and I have a desire, the same level, all of us. Others, and we'll never be at the same level. Mm. So, major on these learners, these ones who do off-key, and as they are doing their off-beat and off-key, please make sure you're giving them the best backups. Yes, yes. <laughs> don't, 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 don't give learners time to practice mm -hmm. songs, then you're giving them backups mm -hmm. who are coming up. Mm -hmm. You will demoralize them. Of course, na wengine wanazima mic. Wanazima mic. No. Uh -huh. It's very wrong. Even for this na yanacheza vitu vya. Ayuko hapo. In fact, ukimba vibaya uh -huh. yes, I'm end off. Eh eh. I'm switch off. No. Let your heart be there. Yes. Let your mind be there. Now be very patient with these learners. Ara kama you even if you'll do a song for a second or 2 minutes. Mm -hmm. Stop. Yes, yes. We start. Patience is the word. Yes. Be very patient because we are not some are slow learners. Exactly. Others they will capture immediately. Yes. Others it will take maybe several months, eh? Yes. Doing the same thing. Exactly. Off key, off key until mm. Mm. they get to where you want them to be. Yes. So patience is the word. Patience. Uh -huh. And especially if the people that you are you're trying to raise, they have a passion to learn. Yes. Because again, you have people that are very rigid. They are off key people, off beat, but they are ever rigid. You correct them is an issue. Mm -hmm. This is what I know. And <laughs> yes. it has to be this way. Me, this is how I normally sing. Mm -hmm. So if you have such kind of people as a leader, Tafadali, please raise a standard in the team. Mm -hmm. Because again, you can't be dragging everyone all the time. Mm -hmm. Yes. There is a level you come as a leader, mm -hmm. you say, now enough is enough. Mm -hmm. And give them ultimatum. Yes. It is allowed in the house of God. Because we are we want excellence. Mm -hmm. Sister A, mm -hmm. brother X, mm -hmm. by the end of August. Mm -hmm. 
you must be able to sing song one to be without going off beat. Mm -hmm. So that also give them responsibility. Let them look for their own time to learn, private time to have their keyboardist on their own. Mm -hmm. Because you can't grow with you know depending on our on the sessions you normally meet as a whole team because mm. in the whole team now we want to build everybody and also prepare for the service but now you as a, an individual mm -hmm. have your own private time so as a leader mm -hmm. push them so now let's bring another question eh? yes how is a leader supposed to behave uh -huh. he's supposed to behave like a headmaster or a principal <laughs> that says this has to be done it must be done uh -huh. okay this is uh we, we are ministering eh? yes yes there is grace mm. supplied eh? exactly but now how how is this worship leader expected to behave eh? mm. uh, because you know you, you have been a worship leader you know yes. how teams team members <laughs> behave <laughs> exactly eh? yes how how do you draw the line exactly where do you draw the line that this is now this is where I'm supposed to behave this way. This is, I'm uh -huh. supposed to be harsh. Ikipita hapa, I'm supposed to be harsh. Yes. And hapa sasa ni neema. Let me, let me tell you, my brother, uh, the, what has made your pastor to be a pastor till today uh -huh. and to have that congregation? Uh -huh. He's blended himself or herself. Yes. He has a touch of toughness mm -hmm. and tenderness. Toughness and tenderness. Yes. Okay. But just know that the foundation of it all, the basis, the connection is love. Love. Yes. Love connects now the toughness and the tenderness. Exactly. Okay. There is a time as a leader you have to be tough. Mm -hmm. There is a time as a leader you'll have to be tough. For people to grow, you'll have to be tough. Yes, yes. There is a time you have to just to be tender. You ignore some things as if you didn't see it, mm -hmm. you didn't hear that one. Yes, yes. Of course, don't ever all the time point out mistakes. Yes, yes. If you're a leader who points out issues, make sure that you, you balance yourself. <laughs> when someone has done something very good, yes. and you meet in your first practice mm -hmm. of the week, Appreciate, point out that issue, even you can give to the person. Yes, yes. But don't always appear only when you want to attack a mistake. That is wrong. So you must be tough, you must be tender. Tender. Soft, hard, you have to. If you're, because now you're going to attract people. I tell you, if there is a, a, a team that is very hard mm -hmm. to lead in the mm -hmm. church, it's the praise and worship team. I know. It's a praise and worship team. I because know. now, the demand is, is huge. Mm -hmm. Your pastor demands something. Congregation will demand something. The people here, they want some favors. You have to deliver. You have to deliver. So if you're just, be, you know, you're, you're a soft kind of a person or tough all the time, you will not achieve yes. what God wants to achieve. Mm -hmm. So now, back to the practice session, because mm -hmm. now we are building ministers. Mm -hmm. And every leader must always know that. Yes. You are building ministers. In this session, I've said there must be word session, prayer session. You come now to the issues, you're pointing out the mistakes. Mm -hmm. Take them through vigorous practice. Yes. Thorough practice session. Go to the highest key they can go. There is no comfort during mm -hmm. practice. Mm -hmm. Know how high they can go. Yes. Know how low they can go. Know their, 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 their comfortable, uh, whatever, key and tone and everything. Mm -hmm. After that, the keyboardists will know all the time how to play with them during the service. But don't, there is no need for us to come to this practice where you always play for me the key where I'm comfortable at. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No. The lowest and the highest. Mm -hmm. Warudi, let them start again, start again, start again until we get something. Yes, yes. Even if you just build one person in the whole session, you have achieved something. Mm -hmm. Don't go out of the practice session as a leader where you've not built anybody. It is the same, same top cream. Mm -hmm. You know, the star yeah. are the ones who keep on shining. Yeah, we know. There is we no know need. Who will, who will lead ah, tomorrow? There is no need. We can just do it on our subgroup and appoint whoever will do it uh -huh. on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Why are we gathering? Mm -hmm. If you're not helping the people who are growing up yes. to reach to at, a, at a particular level. I've had a situation eh? yes. where there are, the, okay, there are those, you, you're saying they are top creams. Eh? Oh, yes. Those people. What, 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 what you do call this, eh? oh. that when somebody takes a mic oh, there, yes. uh -huh. the congregation knows this person must sing this and this song. Uh -huh. <laughs> Even somebody at home, and I say, if it is Pastor Wanda, yes. uh -huh. is it that those people are stagnant, they are not developing themselves, or what is the problem? The problem falls with the leader. The leader itself. Yes. The leader has failed to raise the standard of the team yes because raising a standard here means you will learn new songs all the time it is wrong when the congregation can predict what you're going to do mm -hmm. you're failed mm -hmm. you're failed 
even if it is the same song yes we talk about standard here comes about skills you know being uh, skillful and all that mm -hmm. redoing a song you know making it a bit new yes standard will will, will, will demand come with a song mm -hmm. this is how the song has been sung listen to the original whatever song then after having the original composition of the song mm -hmm. oh how can we redo this one okay yes how can you do how can you attach this song with this another song uh -huh. So they call it owning the song now. Yes, now you own it. Mm -hmm. Because you know the songs we are doing, we call them cover. Yes, yes. We are just, we are just repeating songs that have been done by other people. Mm. But in our service now, we are not limited to do it the same way. Those, they were limited because they were in a studio somewhere, and yeah. now they are limited by time and whatever, mm. by airplay and all those. But now here, we are not limited by anything. So we own the song. Mm -hmm. We redo the song. Yes. And every practice, you come with the new songs. And people must learn new songs. I always ask people, how will you feel when your pastor appears on the altar with the same summer? The same, the same, summer. same way. January to January. You will, you, will, you, will leave the, you will move from that church. Now, that brings another aspect. Eh? Yes. How do we introduce these songs to the, to the congregation now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To a point that the congregation now can flow with you. Yes. Because now that entails the growth of the congregation. Eh? Exactly. You because you find there is a there is a situation where the the, 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 the worship leader is leading a song. Uh -huh. The backups are doing so well. The uh -huh. instruments are doing so well. Yes. But you go to the congregation, they are just like this. They they don't know. How do you bring the congregation uh -huh. to grow with you? Okay. Those songs, eh? uh -huh. so that you don't dwell on those songs that they know. That comfort zone, Yazile Nyimbo Wanajua. How do you help them grow with those new songs? Okay. Yes. First of all, when you introduce new songs to the congregation, mm -hmm. don't push it down their throat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you must sing. Yeah, just introduce the songs in beats. Yes. In beats. See the way they are responding. Mm -hmm. You shelve it a little bit. Next Sunday again, bring it back again. Yes, yes. In a month, you've been brought like two or three songs mm -hmm. in a month. Mm -hmm. And these people in congregation, they, they, they hear songs outside. They know them. They watch them. Yes. They listen to them. So, uh -huh. and also, advantage also we have in some other places, mm -hmm. we have screens and all that. Mm -hmm. If we have screens, make sure that your songs are projected. Mm -hmm. If we don't have, just need to do songs bit by bit by yes. bit by yes, bit. Yes. And also just be patient with the congregation. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're dealing with the oldies, mm -hmm. people that are, you know, the ages have advanced and all yes, that, yes. be patient with them. Mm -hmm. But don't fail to introduce new songs to the congregation. Okay. Even the church will love it when the, when the team is, so, so is you, improving. So you say you introduce them a bit, bit by bit? Bit by bit, yes. Like you can take a song, eh? uh -huh. you want to introduce a song to the congregation. Yes. This Sunday, you take it, they are learning. Mm. So you introduce Kidogo. Mm. Next Sunday, the same song. Mm -hmm. By the time you reach the fourth Sunday, they are flowing with you. They are flowing with you. Okay. Exactly. That's wonderful. And don't push it to a point where mm -hmm. we, are, we are turning the church to be a rehearsal. Mm -hmm. I've seen this mistake. Yes. You say, now nah, let's stop. Huh? Or you are just doing the song to shine. Mm. When I do this, you say, oh, that is practice <laughs> session. They didn't come for practice. They came for the service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so just introduce with them. Repeat the phrases. Mm -hmm. Repeat the lines. Yes. See how they are responding. You feel like they are not capturing it? Shelve it. Yes, yes. Go to another song. Mm -hmm. Then maybe later in the service, maybe you're doing one hour, you can repeat the same song twice. Yes, yes. You brought it somewhere there at your starting, mm -hmm. then at the tail end, you yes. can bring it back again. Mm -hmm. But don't like do the whole song, you know, they are not capturing because we want them to move together with us. Mm -hmm. And you don't quarrel the congregation. Yes. Because when, 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 when you show them love. That, that's another topic. <laughs> I've to heard <laughs> worship leaders saying, Munaimba aje kama hamujakula. Yes, hamujakula. Do you know there is Na a Kuna mutu wa jakula Will you buy them breakfast? Yes, what if yes. they come and say, by the way, you know, me, I didn't take breakfast. Eh. Sort me out. Unaimba ni kama, kama kuna migu miwili. Eh. Some are in the church, they have challenges. That's very true. Yeah, they have challenges. They have challenges. So be careful of the words that come. Because yes. that's why I began by saying love. Mm -hmm. If you love the congregation genuinely, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit even will, will, will try to help you. They are words that will not allow you to you know, you don't quarrel the congregation. You don't lecture them. Yes. You know, you're ministering. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Pastor Wanda, Pastor Wanda. This is very powerful. Unfortunately, the time cannot allow us to continue. But I believe wow. we, we will have you again. Eh? Thank you. Because we have only tackled the uh, capacity building mm. uh, of the worship leader. Yes. 
and we have touched a little bit of the team, of the team yes. and the congregation but we need now to know how does the individual of that team mm. build his capacity to oh, deliver exactly and uh thank you so much for being with us You're welcome. uh i know you have learned something and uh you have maybe to do a recap okay on this worship leader building his capacity you've talked about prayer life mm. they must pray mm. more than even the other team members exactly number two you say they have to study the word mm. because you have to sing the word you exactly. have to minister the word exactly. number three you said you they have to understand the vision of the house so mm. that they can deliver exactly this is powerful mm. and you also say they have to also to learn the team itself eh? exactly so yes. that they can know who can do this who cannot do this mm. and also to be patient with the team members oh, yes. and also the congregation mm. this is powerful i hope yes, you have yes. taken notes we have to end it there one hour seems like five minutes uh -huh. make sure you catch us again next sunday from 8 30 p.m to 9 30 p.m and uh maybe before we go uh of the show okay maybe to ask you some questions w what is that you cannot leave your house without <laughs> my house without <laughs> yeah <laughs> wow okay something that i to carry or to do <laughs> to carry or to carry to? you cannot to carry ukitoka kwa nyuma bila hiyo kitu afadhali urudi oh yes my wife even knows yes i must always work with a book <laughs> and a pen and a pen yes not a phone not a phone. Phone I do forget okay. at times. Okay. But of course I'll come for it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll for it. But now a book and a note, uh -huh. I have to. Yes, yes. I have to. Yes, yes. Yeah. What, what is your favorite quote? My favorite quote, uh, I would say, greater doors are only open uh -huh. for them that are prepared for them. Wow, powerful. Yeah. Powerful. Yes. Now give us your parting shot as we end the show. Okay. Tell us how we can get you, how they can get your book as we end the show okay yes yes uh just uh before i go there just to encourage every minister of the yes, gospel yes. the um, uh, worship minister mm -hmm. the singers mm -hmm. you are doing a good job mm -hmm. i know at times it gets tough mm -hmm. but continue serving yes yes there is nothing you are doing for god that goes unrewarded yes. or unnoticed mm -hmm. keep on serving mm -hmm. through the challenges mm -hmm. thick and thin mm -hmm. keep on serving mm -hmm. one day you will look back and say it was worth it yes. for you to endure whatever you endured mm -hmm. and at times you may sing in a place where maybe you're, you're not accepted remember you're doing it unto the lord mm -hmm. not unto to your pastor yes not unto the congregation mm -hmm. keep on serving god yes keep on doing it 30 seconds now tell us how there are those pastors who wants their teams to be trained eh? mm -hmm. excellence ministry yes, how yes. can they get you uh they can get me on facebook especially mm -hmm. uh, steve wanda is my name mm -hmm. or even through my number mm -hmm. maybe i can give my number mm -hmm. uh 07 yes 96 mm -hmm. 96 mm -hmm. 96 mm -hmm. 75 you call me, we'll just have a session with your okay, people. Okay, say it again, say it again. 07, 07. 96, mm -hmm. 96, mm -hmm. 96, mm -hmm. 75. 75. Yes. Wonderful. You come to your church. Yes. Have a good time, even practicals yes. with other teams. And I believe that you will see a change. Yes. And the Lord will be glorified. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pastor Wanda. You're Thank welcome. you for creating time to be with us. Thank you. I know our viewers are informed, transformed, inspired, mm. and uh, we be sure we shall get you here again thank you so much we, we 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 need to continue with this this is part one of capacity building oh yes we shall come with part two. Oh yes thank you so much our viewers catch us again mm -hmm. from 8 30 p.m to 9 30 p.m same station i'm your host bugwa gk have a wonderful evening and a good night amen amen, amen.